qualifying to succeed at his first Broadway musical role. And later, Daniel Radcliffe. Victor Sempra! Trading wizardry. A song and dance. Morning on CBS. Hold on. And here again is Charles Osgood. As the world knows, Harry Potter was a standout student at the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. But can his alter ego, Daniel Radcliffe, find success in business on Broadway? Evening News anchor Katie Couric offers this Sunday profile. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm what? A wizard. This boy will be famous. There won't be a child in our world who doesn't know his name. The prophecy came true. I mean, it's so just incredible, these guys. I mean, all you have to do is sort of turn around and wave, and they scream. Now 21, Daniel Radcliffe's star just keeps getting brighter. Da, da, da. And you can just see the, the cliff of Radcliffe up there. Hogwarts' most famous graduate is ready to make some magic of another kind. Oh, aren't you proud to be in that fraternity? He's starring as J. Pierpont Finch in the 50th anniversary revival of How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. Don't ever let J.P. hear you say that. Are you nervous? I mean, uh, a Broadway musical, are you a natural song and dance man, Daniel? No, no, I mean, I, I, singing I can do, but dance took a lot of work. You know, really? I, I worked for um, about a year and a half with, a dance, with two dance teachers, one after the other, um, to get half decent. And now, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to surprise a few people. Can you bust now. a move for me no. right now, Daniel? No, 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 no. I, will make you, I, I will make you pay for that. <laughs> the dancing shoes might be something new, but performing is old hat. <laughs> Ten years ago, a blockbuster series of books inspired a big budget series of movies. And 11 year old Daniel Radcliffe was tapped to play Harry Potter. That night, I woke up in the middle of the night ran into my parents' room at 2 a.m. and asked them if it was a dream. And they were, no, it's, it's not a dream. Go back to bed, it's 2 a.m. With each new film and every red carpet appearance, the world watched as Daniel grew up, myself included. That's a nice look. We only wear that. We only kind of wear that at Halloween and Christmas and oh. mm. big You probably things. don't allow muggles to wear them. This is, am I going to have bad luck as a result? Possibly, maybe curse, but only for a short <laughs> while. Oh, mm. fine. Obviously, your childhood was unconventional. Yes. Do you feel as if you had one? Do you feel it at all robbed? No. Because of so much of your time being taken by these films? No, I don't feel in any way robbed or in it because, or, uh, because the thing is, Growing up on those sets, you were still allowed to be a kid. You could get away with a lot more running around and playing games on a film set than you can at school, certainly. Set and action! His school was Hogwarts, and his classmates and teachers were the cast and crew around him. But unlike a number of child stars, Daniel says his extracurricular activities have never included late-night partying or wild nightclubs. It's horrible. It's just horrendous noise ridiculous rubbish um so I, are you really 65 well yeah this is the, the the joke about me that people have on set is that i'm an old man in a young man's shell so at the last potter premiere it was my ideal premiere because i did the red carpet went inside introduced the film went off i was at home by 10 30 with a bowl of sugar puffs watching the history channel and i've never been happier wow fantastic yeah rock and roll uh, finch. yes finch. This is Mr. Like his character in the musical, Daniel is all business. Oh, I know all about Mr. Gash. He's in charge of plans and systems and interdepartmental evaluation, also pre-promotional promotion, post-administrative research, and multiple developments on a multi-level level. Say, Jonesy, this is a smart one. I didn't even know I did all that. <laughs> but J. Pierpont Finch isn't his first grown-up role on Broadway. 
In 2008, he starred in the macabre psychological thriller Equus and stunned audiences with something you'll never see in a Harry Potter movie, a nude scene. Was that terrifying or do you really have no fear? Um, no, of course you have fear. I mean, of course, and I hate these actors that say, oh God, being naked on stage is so liberating. Oh God, shut up. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's scary and it, it, it's terrifying. You know, I found it scary every night. Ben Brantley wrote in the New York Times uh, a review, the first line being, the wizard has chosen wisely. Thank you very much, Mr. Brantley. Yes. Um, well, this isn't the first time you've heard that, is it? Uh, yes, it is, actually. Really? Yeah. No, you I don't read the reviews. Ever? Um, no, Even no. the good ones? No, no, no. If you're going to read the good ones, you have to read the bad ones, and I certainly don't want to read the bad ones. I once went online and read, like, some things people were saying about me, and that was just... The that cured you of mistake. that. I mean, like, that is just... It's an exercise in self-flagellation. Really, I highly recommend really you don't really Google is. yourself. I know. It, it, it is like opening a door into a room of people telling you how terrible you are. So I did that once, and I've not made that mistake again. Do you, you know, Twitter I don't, or I don't tweet? don't Twitter or tweet. Um, I think Twitter is a really strange thing because there are certain people in the world who are naturally epigrammatic and can say things very concisely and very brilliantly in that short space of time. But I think they are a very small number of people. David, bum bum, the scrimmage. Offline, Daniel's been hanging on to every word spoken by veteran Broadway director Rob Ashford. But that's, that idea of that yeah. unfolding into this helps with that a lot. Yeah. That From again. their first meeting, Ashford says he knew he'd found the next Finch. He is a, a great student and wants to do it well and wants to be the best he can. And that always is in the fore for him. And it's thrilling to work with someone who has that kind of ethic, work ethic, really. And he'll be working eight shows a week. How do you like being in New York, Daniel? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, um, and living in his new home, Manhattan, with his mom and dad. It is great because there is, people are just very, very chilled out over here. You know, you don't get many people who are rushing up to you on the street. And also, I'm Well, at least in theory. Hi, nice to meet you, Dan. How are you? Lexi, nice to meet you, Lexi. I'd like to shake your hand on behalf of my daughter because oh, when I tell cool. her this, she'll be thrilled. Okay, very nice to meet you, sir. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet and, you. and what were you saying? You can walk around New York yeah. and no one bothers oh. you? Yeah. Here, I'll do it. Is yeah. that all right, Daniel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Daniel. Okay, one, two, three. Good, cute. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> well, yeah, when, I think the, the camera definitely drinks more attention. Yeah, Normally, that's true. I've... All eyes will be on him once more this summer with the release of the final Harry Potter film. But for Daniel Radcliffe, that book has already closed. You know, I, I cried, uh, I wept like a child on the day we finished filming. Because it is like a family, it has been like a family, and it's just, and it's, and it's scary to have to go out into the real world. It feels like you're, you know, leaving the nest. But at the same time, you know, we always knew it was going to end, and it, it, we can't just go on indefinitely filming Harry Potter films. You could be a middle-aged Harry Potter, Daniel. I, I, I don't think I'd like that. I think I would go mad. Um, you know, I mean, I, 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 I've loved every single second of Harry Potter, and it's been, and everything that happens to me in the rest of my life, I owe to those films. But, you know, to now walk away from it is exciting in another way, because I feel it's given me the grounding in a career that people could only ever wish for, and I want to make the most of the opportunity I've been given. Now, with no wand and no magic spells, a boy wizard named Harry Potter is turning into a man named Daniel Radcliffe.